Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be addressing a pretty common misconception that a lot of people may have, which is that Macs are immune to viruses. Now, thanks to Apple's great marketing of their products, you might have the idea that all their products are foolproof and safe from malware and other cyber attacks. While it is true that they generally have more protected products, they're still not immune to all malware and they still need a third-party software to guarantee full protection. So in this video, I'll be explaining how the built-in antivirus on Macs works and why it's not sufficient to protect your computer from all malware. Now, before we get into the video, if you're interested in getting an antivirus to guarantee full protection for your Mac, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews of antiviruses I personally recommend to family and friends in the description down below. Okay, so let's start by talking about the antivirus system that Apple has put in place. This system relies on two main built-in programs, which are XProtect and the Mac Malware Removal Tool. XProtect is basically the first line of defense as it scans applications and files for viruses and malware using a database that Apple updates daily. And if it finds malware on a file or application, it immediately notifies you and blocks the threat. Next, you have the Mac Malware Removal Tool, which scans the entire system regularly to make sure nothing has snuck past XProtect. And if it finds any malicious code, it immediately neutralizes it. In general, the design of Macs limits damage from malware. The computers automatically quarantine suspicious files, meaning that they can access critical system software or change the computer's core functions. And the best part is that Apple enables these features by default, so you don't have to worry about getting your settings right. Okay, so that's all for keeping malware outside your system, but what about protecting critical system files from attacks? Well, Macs keep malicious software in check using tools like address space layout randomization, exclusive disable and system integrity protection that run in the background to prevent viruses from accessing critical files. With that being said, the built-in security features of Macs aren't enough to completely protect your device and your personal information from malware. While it is true that Apple may be better than most at making security software, it's not exactly focused on malware detection and protection from viruses. And you're still gonna need a third-party antivirus program to completely protect your device from malware. And here's why. First of all, before 2019, Apple products were considered safer since they were not as popular as their alternatives. And most malware and viruses back then were designed for Windows and other operating systems. However, with the rise in popularity of Apple products, there has been a jump in malware that is specifically designed to target systems running Mac OS. An example of this is Gravity Rat which is a piece of malware that has infected PCs for a while, but now it's figured out how to get into Macs by using stolen developer signatures that bypass the built-in protections of Macs we talked about earlier. It can seriously put your privacy at risk as it takes screenshots, records audio, and causes much more harm. Another example would be OS X Schleyer, which is malware that comes up in Google results disguised as a flash player and guides you through prompts to install it bypassing Mac's built-in security. It installs a hidden app that allows its creators to send other malware or adware to the computer. So as you can see, the built-in protection is showing cracks here and there as more people target Mac OS products. And that is why you need another antivirus to guarantee full protection. Other than that, Macs lack the bonus tools that most top antiviruses offer such as web protection that can automatically detect phishing and suspicious sites and warn you from accessing them, and VPNs that would encrypt your internet traffic, making it much harder for cyber criminals to monitor your activity. So to sum it up, while it is true that Macs have some of the best built-in protection tools, arguably better than those of Windows, it's still not enough to keep up with the constant advancements of malware and the relentless attacks that cyber criminals keep launching. And so having another antivirus program fill in the gaps and offer the tools that Mac doesn't have will guarantee you the best protection possible. And if you're not sure which antivirus to go for, I left a bunch of reviews on antiviruses that I personally use and recommend, along with some discounts in the description below. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. That would be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.